It's time to do 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 die. Sacrifice my X Y Z Dragon Cannon to summon my God Card. Obelisk the Tor. Go, Light Force Sword. What? Did you just throw a sword through my fucking card? Looks like you should have adopted a new strategy, Kaiba. Eh? <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to People Ruin Everything, where weird graphic fan art and weird fan fictions exist on the internet. Today it's Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Monsters, and I had to play that clip in the beginning from the original Yu-Gi-Oh! Abridged series by Little Karibo on YouTube. That is fucking god-tier humor if I've ever seen it. It takes the show's like most annoying aspects, and sometimes the cringeworthy dub aspects, and takes it and shoves it in your face and makes it ten times more hilarious. Um, Yu-Gi-Oh! is one of those shows for me I feel like gets better as I get older. The more I understand it, the better it is for me. Before that, when I was a kid, I basically had no patience for it. You know, I'd rather fucking hear Goku scream for 20 minutes straight like he's constipated, trying to let one loose. And that, I would call it a day there. That's enough hype for me. <laughs> But, um, yeah, I, I have fond memories of Yu-Gi-Oh! I actually did have a card collection at one point, but wherever the flying fuck that went, no idea. <laughs> Before we dive straight into what is known as the eyeball cancer barrel, in my my own terms, I kind of want to just, I have, I have a few nitpicks, okay? Just hear me out. <laughs> of these small nitpicks, um... One thing that's always puzzled me about the American dub of Duel Monsters, why is Kaiba, Yugi, Yugi's grandfather, and his little, Kaiba's little brother Mokuba the only one with active Japanese names? At least Japanese first names, for that matter. The unfortunate character that suffers the worst from this is Joey. Like, they gave him a full American name. Joey Wheeler. And I got it, and they made it even worse by giving him a Brooklyn accent. I'm not holding anything back. Like, what? <laughs> Some of the names themselves, like, don't even match the character's looks. Like, I guess for the girl character, Taya, I mean, that works, but how about the guy that has a, a fucking shoehorn as a hairdo? Yeah, they call him Tristan in the American dub. I don't think he looks like a Tristan, he looks more like a, like a James. Yeah, he, he definitely looks more like a James. Alright, I think I've ranted long enough about nitpicks. Uh, time for me to sacrifice my eyeballs so you guys can enjoy me suffering behind the scenes. Okay, here's the degenerate artisty you guys have been waiting for. This is a list someone made in graphic detail of all the god cards from the show all the characters in the god cards and their penises and what their penises look like and how big they are. <laughs> yep, someone took the time to make this list and sketch each individual penis. <laughs> A lot of simps for the dark magician girl on the internet today. I'm only going to show three here, too, because uh, I got about maybe 15,000 search results because of that. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to settle with three. Uh, well, this, this is friendship, right? Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah, I'm not even gonna show the bottom half of this. Wow. Yeah, no. I'm a ho! I'm a ho! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have failed as a society. We have 100% failed as a society. This one, I'm gonna do my best to, I guess, play it out for you. Shows Yugi laying in bed, obviously naked, with Kaiba's 10 year old brother. I know in the American dub they say he's two years younger than Kaiba, but in the original he is 10 or 12 or something around that age range. And this. This one is not just like actively 
fucking corroding my mind. But this one is really, like, making me, like, sweat. This is fucking bad. This is so fucking bad. Don't Rule 34 forums regulate their shit. I think we need to put that into perspective. I get it. Cartoon characters. But still, it's still you know exactly what it fucking is. Unacceptable. Okay. Let's just read some stupid Yu-Gi-Oh bullshit. Why the flying fuck not? So this is an embarrassing confession for somebody on Reddit. Um, let's see what they have to say. So I used to collect a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh cards, and I'm not gonna lie, I had a huge crush on Dark Magician Girl. One day I got the bright idea that since trying to have sex with a playing card is impossible, I instead decided to shove them up my ass. I first needed to adjust myself at the right angle. I rubber banded the cards together and stuck them inside a tight rubber glove. Then pulled up my knees to where my ears are, looked at myself in the mirror, licked a deck of cards so they'd be slippery enough, and started to push them in. I had the deck of cards about halfway in and it looked like a bar of soap entering my ass. I got so turned on, I began pre, you know what, all over my stomach. My mom suddenly walked in with my laundry and we made eye contact for like five seconds, which felt like five hours. She just slowly backed out of my room and my asshole shit the cards back out, making a squelchy farts noise. All right, I'm done. That's the last draw for me today. I am not doing any more of this. Uh, that does not mean this series will not continue. As always, I suffer for your entertainment, but that's going to do it for this video today. Hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like, share, and share with your friends, and comment, and subscribe to the channel. Uh, I'm gonna go recover. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.